This portion of Drive Time is made possible by Cooper Cargill Chant, serving the legal needs of the region from their offices in North Conway and Berlin. Visit coopercargillchant.com. Good people, great lawyers. Today I'm joined by Norman Tregenza, who's an instructor for Camp Constitution. They'll be having their camp Sunday, July 13th until Sunday, July 20th. Sign up will be right up until about a day or two before the camp starts, and it will be all happening at Toa Nippy in Ridge, New Hampshire. For more information, you can always call 704 288 7270 or go to campconstitution.net. So, thank you very much for joining me, Norman. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. So, Camp Constitution. Exactly what it sounds, a historical camp to learn about the founding of the nation? That's right. Our goal is to inspire the youth about the greatness of America's heritage. So do you cover the the lead up to the Constitution as well as the the document itself? We usually do. Uh, There are classes all week long as well as recreation. uh, And one of the classes will always talk about, for example, the causes and, and leads up to the war for independence and why the early Americans wanted to separate from Britain. And it's a summer camp, so you've got the, all the summer recreation, the the swimming, the recreational activities on the side. Yes, we do. My understanding is that you also have a unique camp in that very few other places, if any, actually talk about these sort of things. It is a completely unique camp as far as we know. There's nothing like it around the country. New Hampshire has the only one. Uh, We do talk extensively about the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and the themes that go throughout both documents. What would the week be like? Is it just chronological? Like at the very beginning, you're learning about the revolution and then towards the middle, you get into the the debate and then afterwards the history of the Constitution since? As the campers arrive, they're tested to find out how much they already know because many campers come year after year, and so Mm. they're very knowledgeable. Uh, So we test them as they come in, and then if they're very knowledgeable, they're put into um, advanced classes, and then those campers that arrive that are not that knowledgeable go into what we call maybe the core or the basic classes. Mm. And then the recreation uh, is the same for all the campers, r- regardless of how they score on the tests. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking about Camp Constitution. It's going to be happening Sunday, July 13th until Sunday, July 20th this year at Toa Nippy in Ridge, New Hampshire. For more information, you can call 704-288-7270, or you can go to campconstitution.net. And it sounds like you have a number of repeat students you mentioned. So the camp is set up so that you can go multiple years and not have the same thing every year. That's exactly right. We do our very best to keep the camp as fresh as possible. And that includes like with the field trips. Mm. So every other year we go and visit Lexington and Concord and the campers get to experience what the battles were like from the Battle of Lexington and Concord. And then every other year, the campers have the opportunity to go to another particular place. Uh, One year, we took them to Franklin Pierce's homestead. Mm. Another year, we took them to the Concord, New Hampshire State House. Uh, Another year, we took them to Uncle Sam's uh, home in Mason. This year, for the first time, we'll be taking them to USS Constitution, uh, which many people call Old Ironsides, in Boston. So the campers are going to have that opportunity. And so for the USS Constitution, you'll be driving down to Massachusetts, checking that out, um, the museum that's affiliated with it. Yes, we'll go to both. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Is that towards the beginning or the end of the trip? That'll be either on Wednesday or Thursday of the camp week. Okay, so right about the middle. Right. The campers are also given a day where we take them to Mount Monadnock and, and we go climbing with them. If there's anybody who has, say, for example, religious obligations, is there a chapel at the camp for somebody to uh, to celebrate the, the Sabbath or whatever? Actually, that's a, that's a very good question because uh, there is not a chapel on the uh, camp facility, uh, but we do make arrangements for, uh, for the Catholic campers to attend a Mass on Sunday, and uh, Protestant Christian campers uh, have a worship service. We actually have a uh, a minister that comes in and he, he gives a sermon. 
Okay, so that yep. is taken care yep. of for people who are concerned about that. That's if, right. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about Camp Constitution going down Sunday, July 13th until Sunday, July 20th. That's at Toa Nippy in Ridge, New Hampshire. Uh, you can call 704-288-7270 for more information or go to Camp Constitution. Dot net. You're an instructor at Camp Constitution, sure. so um, yes. you've covered a, a number of subjects during your, your course there? Sure. Ever since the camp's inception, and we're going into our sixth year now, I've taught just about every class that, that we have there. The classes are in the mornings. Okay. Uh, the campers experience a 9 o'clock, a 10 o'clock, an 11 o'clock class. Uh, then, of course, lunch and recreation in the afternoon, followed by a campfire in the evening as well, where we uh, sit around the campfire and, and sing the traditional old songs like Battle Hymn of the Republic. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I've taught all seven articles from the Constitution. Usually we spend the most amount of time on Article 1 Okay. Uh, for a, a, a core class. But then I teach some of the special classes, like for the advanced campers. I taught a, a class last summer called historical roots of American liberty, mm. which focused on those people that the founding fathers read. Who did Jefferson and Madison and Hamilton, they, they read people like Montesquieu and John Locke and William Blackstone. So uh, the class was about some of the concepts that these men wrote about. So it sounds like with the saying that it uh, concentrates a lot on Article One, so you concentrate a lot on the legislative process and the, the importance of the legislature itself. Indeed we do, yes, which is very much overlooked. You know, many people, it's been said many times that in America we have three co-equal branches of government. Mm. Uh, it's, it's not really true. The Founding Fathers gave the overwhelming amount of responsibility to the legislative branch, the first article branch. Uh, about 66% of the responsibilities uh, come under Article One. And the Founding Fathers were, were wise and shrewd about this. They did that because they knew that that was the branch that the people elected. It was closest to the people. And in the case of our congressmen, it's every two years. Uh, the other branches of government, the executive, Article Two, or the president, that's uh, elected every four years. And then, of course, the Supreme Court is nominated and then posted for life, right. Article Three, which is has the least amount of, of powers and responsibilities as enumerated by the Constitution. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking about Camp Constitution Sunday, July 13th until Sunday, July 20th at Toa Nippy in Ringe, New Hampshire. For more information, 704-288-7270, or you can go to campconstitution.net. Uh, Norman, thank you very much for joining me. Well, it's my pleasure to be on Drive Time. This portion of Drive Time has been made possible by Cooper Cargill Chant, serving the legal needs of the region from their offices in North Conway and Berlin. Visit coopercargillchant.com. Good people, great lawyers.